Hi ladies, welcome back. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about why basic betties are always overlooked constantly. And if you look at how I look right now, you will see that I am a basic betty right now. If I was going out wanting to attract high quality, successful men, I would never leave my house like this. I have nothing on my face here, just brows and a tiny bit of eyeshadow on my inner corner and obviously individual lashes, which are falling out, <laughs> hashtag Rona. So, and obviously my wig's on, honey, but you've got to think, would this really be what would do it for a high quality, successful, high caliber man? Would this make him stop what he's doing in his tracks and follow me and ask me for my number to take me out to dinner is this going to do it for him no no it's not and i'm telling you this right now that some of you think that you are so gorgeous without makeup or without putting in effort into yourselves and i just don't feel like you are thinking about what other people think. Maybe you are exceptionally beautiful like Eva Marcel on Real Housewives. You know the, um, she was on America's Next Top Model. She is somebody who is very pretty but she is not the most sought after woman. And that is because even though she's so pretty and she's she's really beautiful in her face, but she just doesn't make the most of herself. And it makes her not look as desirable because it looks as though she is less desirable because she doesn't put that time and effort into herself. And I would just want you guys to take this away that basic Betty's will always be overlooked and you can think right now oh well i don't have to wear makeup i always go on my date and i just go you know my natural self and you know my boyfriend he loves it he thinks that i'm so beautiful he always says that but when you are not with your boyfriend do you know what he's looking at he's looking at the ones with the makeup on He's looking at the ones that have put effort into their hair. He's looking in. He's looking at the women who make an effort and actually are feminine in that way. And when you're walking around with a plain canvas, when you're walking around not putting any effort into your face, it just sends out a signal that says, I just don't have time. I am rushed off my feet, I am stressed out, I don't like to be a girly girl and do things that girly girls like to do and I just do not care about how I look. That's the sign that it just, it just sends that sign out and I just feel like that's not the signal that you're trying to send out if you want to attract these high quality men. If I was going on a date and I rolled up looking like this, as opposed to going all out and really making myself look the best that I can look, I will get more. Okay, so start as you mean to go on. If you want to get X, Y and Z from a man, when you meet him from the first date, from the outset, you have to set that standard and you have to set that bar. If he sees you looking half crusty, half okay, half not, you look basic, kind of basic Betty, but eh, she looks all right. You're not going to get what I'm going to get because I'm going to make the most of myself. So it's about making the most of yourself at all times. It's about you guys thinking strategically and making the most out of yourself for strategic purposes to get the most out of life. And not even just for men. If you're not interested in dating or in beneficial dating, it's about getting the most out of yourself. Don't you want to feel your best and put effort into yourself? Like, I just don't understand when people don't want to. Um, when I used to be basic Betty, 
okay i used to be basic betty but i didn't know i was basic betty i used to feel as though i was putting effort in but now i realize that i'm putting so much more effort in i have practice my makeup skills you guys have seen the evolution on the channel with my makeup and how i'm looking so i still have a long way to go but i am trying my best and i'm trying and i'm making an effort and i'm putting effort into myself so i'm not basic betty basic betty's will always be overlooked because as soon as somebody comes and she stands next to basic betty basic betty is she's invisible okay she's invisible and she might as well have just not showed up women who put time and effort into their appearance women who smell nice with they spray on beautiful perfume they put effort into their outfits they walk with comf they walk with confidence they have their figure on point these women will always be higher value women than basic Betty's. And that's just a fact. It's just a fact. When you go out, you will have better treatment when you look better. This is for all races, all backgrounds, all shades, all everything. When you put more effort into your appearance and you make yourself look more high value, you will be treated in a better way than if you walk around going out places looking like you maybe are going to steal something. When you go out with out your hair combed, people are worried and they don't know if you are a dodgy person because you look like you don't care about yourself. So put that effort into yourself, put that time in and don't be basic Betty because she is always going to be overlooked by high quality men even the men who are not high quality and when i say not high quality i mean the ones that we are really trying to avoid on a daily basis even they will overlook basic betty if something else comes on and she looks better even they will and they're basic themselves in their own right so don't be basic betty be glowed up have your makeover done make yourself look the best version that you can look make the most of yourself put your best foot forward because you don't want to be overlooked you have one life to live as yourself live it yolo and all that jazz and 